don't know if I could lay them in the snow if it'd show up better. Or... It'll say recording when you hit it there. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then, there we go. There you go, bud. All right. Okay. What we're going to do is find the placement for the band first. Usually one about an inch below the coronary band. I used to use my thumb to find the spot there. And then we find the placement for the side. And put the first screw in. Oops, if I can get hold of it. There's the first one. Come around. And we'll find placement. It's good. Alright, you're okay. Don't get all goofy. Get you on top of me. Go. And the band's on, and you'll see sometimes the band won't lay flat against the foot in here, and that's fine because it eventually will mm -hmm. as the hoof changes shape. And that now we're going to put the toe, the hold down clamp on to keep it in place, and we'll put the rest of the screws in there. All right, and the hold down clamp we just bend over. Oh, hang on. Just bend it in half. So the holes line up, slide it over. It doesn't really matter which side. I try to go opposite of the screw side when I normally do it. And this will hold the band in place. Then we'll put the rest of the screws and then tighten the band. Crabby. Happy dog. Hi, bud. You can see these are three eighths inch screws, and they don't hurt him at all. Mm -hmm. If it did, he'd already be on top of me. For me, bud. There you go. Oh, I'll keep it down. Put it down. There you go. <laughs> That'll work too. All right. Sometimes you can bring their foot forward and put it up on the stand and do this too. Okay. Now, what we got to do is tighten it. This is really comfortable for me. Yeah, I believe it. Okay, then tightening is just with a handheld screwdriver. And that uh, you don't want to use anything else. And get it to where it's starting to snug. Okay, and then I normally feel just above to feel when the hoof wall starts to move. It's starting to move right now. Give it another turn. It. And when the horse is actually foundered, you'll see a reaction in that. I mean, he does have rotation, but it's old and he's fixed. But if he was in pain, and I was doing this, his feet would be up here. As soon as I start to move that hoof wall, his foot comes back to here. Wow. Almost immediately. So you can see a more comfortable stance immediately. Hmm. And that when you're doing it on an actual one that's in pain at the moment, mm -hmm. instead of an old founder like this guy. Do they stay in the sun or not? No, well, I think I want. So far, I'm width and placement. And you see, this foot has a different angle on it, so it's even going to stick up a little bit more than the other one. Get 
through into the hole, that'll be doing fine. So when you're feeling the hoof wall, you can actually feel it tighten up or? I can feel the hoof wall actually move. Move, okay. And that, especially this time of the year, the feet are a little softer. Mm -hmm. And that right now with this melting snow, and the frogs are nice and soft, the hoof walls are a little softer. And uh, and when I'm tightening this one up, if you want to put your finger on, I don't know, well, this one's at a different angle. It'd be a little tougher. Okay, bud. <laughs> you got to step up here. Come on, up, up. There. Now put her down. There you go. Just right there. Right there. No, don't bring the other foot. Just relax. Dang it. This is, once you get the first two, it goes a lot better. All right. We'll sink this and then do the placement. There we go. And we'll push that down where we want her. Band on. Before they tighten, as the foot grows, it tightens itself. Okay. And uh, uh, these you tighten immediately on the spot. Okay. And there's no shoeing required. Right. So there's there's no pain, and I mean you can see there's no pain involved. Mm -hmm. He's not flinched. He's not jumped. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of people worry about these screws because I mean they're three eighths inch, but they never hit anything sensitive. Okay. I mean this guy's got nice thick hoof walls. If you got one with a thinner one, then you use the smaller screws on them. But a horse this size, you'd always be able to use these 3 8 So on a mini, would you use the smaller one? Or well, not? I've done both. Uh, with that rubber coating on, the things mm -hmm. are a little thicker. Okay. So I've been using the 3 8 And okay. we actually started putting four 3 8 screws in each mini bag. Okay. Along with the 14 other ones, so that way they got an anchor okay. with it. Because we had them pulling loose when we were tightening, mm -hmm. because they weren't in far enough. Okay. He's being good right now. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's jumping around. He's in a movie. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah. He's smiling. <laughs> Is this my, my close up? <laughs> I wish I would have videoed that miniature that I did that I just came from. Three months ago, I went there. He could not walk. Really? Were you there today, Chuck? Yeah, I took him off. This hoof cinches oh, off him. Yeah. I took photos, but I didn't video. Okay. And that before, because I figured it wouldn't do me no good after. We took him off today, trimmed his feet up. He'd grown so much in the three months. I mean, they were big old curls. The guy's like, Are you, can you fix that? And we got done, his feet looked perfectly normal. And he trotted out of the barn. Wow. He couldn't walk three months ago with it. So once three weeks is all it took, and then he's... He, three months. Three months, okay. Yeah, I mean, these things relieve the pain almost instantly, but it takes, we have to wait for the hoof to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, And you can actually see... When we do this, there's going to be a change in direction. See how nice and straight these are right now, down mm -hmm. the front here? When we're done, before we trimming everything, everything below this will be coming out this way. This part here is going to be growing straight down. Oh, wow. You'll okay. see a difference. Okay, let me get these snugged up and then I'll start to move the hoof wall here. If, see if we can work up pretty steep on this one. Oh, yeah, because he was. There, you can actually see his. You can come here and watch right in here. Mm -hmm. Just kind of watch in there. I, I can see it. <laughs> right there. See it? Yeah. See it move? And it doesn't hurt him at all. Mm -mm. And that, uh, I mean, he does have a space. And there it goes again. And that's all we're going to do. Okay. As tight as we're going to go. But you could actually physically see his hoof wall kind of come back yeah. in. And then I will hold that pressure there and it'll force the hoof wall to grow back to the bone. Wow. Well. 